because I figured I couldn't look myself in the mirror anymore after being down here. And I find it staggering to listen to so many politicians talk about we shouldn't be playing politics. If we didn't do that, what would we be doing? You know what? We make too many promises. That's the problem we have. We make promises all the time. Look at any campaign plan that we all run with. We're going to do everything. We're going to fund education at 55%, give everybody a job, give everybody free health care, save the planet, and love dogs. We help create this problem with the citizenry. Why? Because we have, in effect, been telling them for generations that they can have it all and they don't have to pay for it. Our side of the aisle has been fairly guilty in assuming that we can find a welfare cheat to cover it from and yours is ready to pound down the richest door to take money. Neither of which are enough to cover the demographic and systemic problems that we face. The chief executive stood in this room Tuesday and suggested a referendum on taxes. I can guarantee pretty much how it would work. No. But if the next question behind it was, do you want a lot of free stuff? The answer would be yes. <laughs> we are facing a demographic problem that is unseen in human history, and it is taking place across Western civilization. We are the oldest society in the Union now, which means the percent of our population that is over 65 is greater than any other state. We have the greatest number of veterans per capita of any state in the United States, and we have a fairly significant underclass. All of these demographics are not playing into the pot the same as everybody else. The tax base is shrinking. We need tax reform in this country that recognizes the 21st century and the demographics we face, and everything else we do is fairly unimportant. And another point is, in 2009, when the federal government passed a stimulus package for an economic downturn, this state had seen economic downturns in the past. In the early 90s, it was a fairly significant one. And what normally happens in an economic downturn is the state, its legislators, are forced to make some tough decisions. And they cut back some programs. And then generally what happens is, as the money comes back in, they begin to grow again. There's a downturn, you have to cut it. The federal government took care of our tough decisions in 2009 because it wrote us a billion dollar check that said, you won't really have to face that reality. So we never made the cut down to have to start out. We more or less made a little bump and we're better than we were and we're continuing to grow from that level. This absurdity has to end. Chair, can I 